This place is called the Salon on Main. Nikki gets her hair cut here. I thought I'd just show everybody what it looks like. I'm gonna do a little bit of a, uh, while she's getting her hair cut, I'm gonna do a walk around Valdez and any merchants that'll let me, I'll shoot the inside of their store and show how nice it is. Beautiful salon, never been in here. I understand why she likes to go. And it's right across from McDonald's, which means you can go get a biscuit or something. It's pretty cool. I see a little bit, just call me. Uh -huh. And I noticed there's a, uh, a place called Soapy Chicks here. I guess this is just a soap place, body products. I'm gonna stop the camera every time and just ask the people it's okay to show, show their store. Okay, so I've walked into a store called Soapy Chicks and I guess these are the Soapy Chicks. <laughs> so what's your name? Ellie. Ellie, what's your name? Maggie. Ellie and Maggie. And so, man, it smells awesome in here. Tell me about your soaps. We make all natural bath and body products. It actually takes six weeks for all our soaps to set up. If you just wanna look at this, this is the yeah. soap that's coming up. Man, it smells amazing. So, 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 they, so you, you make all these? I make everything in the building, yes sir. Where did you learn how to make soap? I got bored one day and I break out to all the store products, so I figured I'd just make it myself. Wow. Well, very awesome. You say you just opened just recently, right? Yeah, on Good Friday. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna back out. I just wanted you to look at all the little drawings on the wall here. You got Soapy Chicks t-shirts and stuff. My wife will probably wanna walk in here. I'm gonna back up to show the beautifulness of their store. And thank you, Ellie, for letting me do that. It won't take much of your time just showing folks what, this, uh, what downtown Valdez is like. So folks, this is a store I'm pretty excited about because y'all know I love guns. <laughs> and this is Steel Creek Arms LLC. And so that, uh, how long have y'all been open? We opened July 1st. July 1st, I knew you're, and you look familiar to me for some reason. Do I you? get that a lot. <laughs> Gosh, you look like somebody I know, but anyway. I'm but, not from this area. Oh, well, you're not? Well, what, 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 what made y'all decide to do a, a nice gun store here in, uh, in Valdez? It's, um, a love that our family has had. I always told my husband that I would never fuss at him for bringing home a firearm, so he took that literally. Yeah. So we figured the best thing we could do is get into a firearms business, but um, we're here with our son. He's not in this morning, but he's the manager no. and is running it. And um, my husband has done business with Bargain House Appliances for probably 25 oh, years. Oh, so that's the people next door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're next door. So um, they had a building for lease and we did a little research and figured it was a good area to get into. So here we are. Wow, so, you, so you've been here for a month and a half. Yep. And uh, I'm assuming you're building your inventory and stuff now. Yeah. I mean, are, are you doing a lot of business already? Yeah. Ammo is um, probably the main driver. Um, we sell firearms as well. You have any 40 cal for like a Glock 22? I bet you can get it, can't you? Uh, yeah. So, so I've made a, uh, a, a determination here. I can't get my ammo, and they say they're open Wednesday through Saturday. And I didn't get your names. What's your names? David and Dora Carter. David and Dora Carter, and their son is the manager here. His name's Philip Carter. Uh, Philip. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great day. I don't know if I have time to go into every store, but I thought I would just at least look around. This is Bargain Appliance House here, and it's another neat store. It's got all kinds of uh, refrigerators, washing machines, all the different kinds of appliances you might need. Meridian over there, I did a video, I did a video for work and work, then they dye yarns and stuff, and they're super high quality yarn, big expensive yarns. I'm gonna walk back this way. This, is, this looks really industrial here, but some nice parts of town that are up ahead of us. And I will say that a very common thing you see in Valdez is this kind of very rough, strange looking rock that is around here. I'm not sure what kind of rock it is, but this is what a whole lot of the buildings are made out of, including the building where Nikki's salon is and the old rock school up here. So I'm, I'm gonna move up here. This used to be a high school, I guess a Valdez high school in the old days. There's a big clock tower here that I guess memorializes the Waldensian folks. Let me take a look at it and see exactly what it says. Historic Valdez Foundation Heritage Millennium Clock Tower. So it's a millennium of something, right? You can see that if you care to stop it. And the old rock school was a pretty place. So it was an old high school. And you can go here and see really good concerts and stuff. The stage in there, the old auditorium has tremendous acoustics. 
And uh, so I've seen, let's see, who have I hauled? I've seen, seen Doyle Austin and Quicksilver here. Gee, I've seen Blue Highway, I think. It's a lot of bluegrass uh, groups play here and acoustic music. But there's always something cool going on here. I used to walk these steps. I might start doing it again just for my health. I used to go, I used to climb the steps 50 times up and down. It's beautiful grounds here. The old uh, Laurel House designs over there, that building off behind the tree, it's gonna be made into affordable apartments, I think is what I've heard. The auto zone over there where I buy my wiper blades and batteries and stuff. But there you go, that's a nice look at the, uh, the old rock school. There's a track back behind here, a old football field and walking track. A lot of folks, including myself, we go back there and we walk back on that track. And they have the Friday night festivals there now. For at least now, they have a concert series and they do concerts out there on that field. I think I might have done a video not too long back on that. This is the side though. Oh, There's also a big art gallery inside the old rock school. Let's go walk uptown a little bit. So I'm sort of headed into the main part of town here. There's a BP here, a lot of people go to the big gas. And there's some thrift stores, some banks. Myra's, which is a uh, ice cream, hot dog, hamburger place. It's real popular. Pretty famous, actually, around this, around this area. The uh, one more rep thing across the road there is it's sort of a CrossFit kind of uh, place. I mean, they do a whole lot of different kinds of stuff. Workout, workout facility. Foothills Thrift. It's been a while since I've been there. I might duck in on the way back. Nice thrift store. Here's the uh, rock, rock drug. And up here ahead of us is Myra's. This is uh, late August, and so the crepe myrtles are all really blooming out pretty. If you can see that. That building right there. It's kind of my dream to buy that one at one time. I really wanted to put an office in it and the uh, I just didn't work out. But WSVM, my favorite little local radio station, WSVM uh, 96.5, check it out. Doesn't matter where you are, you can get the uh, app and you can listen to their music and they really have a great mix of music. This is Myra's. And this is where they have the Friday night drive-ins with classic cars every Friday. I've done a video about that as well. Old World Baking Company over there was awesome. I think it's just now recently closed down because the pandemic just did too much damage to their business. It was a great place to eat. I hope somebody starts it back up at some point. It was great having a really good bread place and soups and sandwiches. That's one that I miss. Got their historic valleys, park benches and stuff. The most beauty salon. Here's another, another one. I don't know what all these are. Salon de Belzia. I do not know what that is. This looks like an art gallery of some sort. Looks like this used to be an old theater or something. Let's see if we can go in here. I'm just curious. Okay, so that is not open. They definitely have like iron and stuff, it looks like, in here. Very Valdez Heritage Art Center. It's a, about 11 o'clock. I would have thought that some of these places would be, uh, more places would be open. Junk in the trunk is another thrift store. I think this is like an insurance agency here to the left. Edward Jones. You know that's financial planning. Pretty dresses for ladies. Oh. Hey, how are you? Hey, my wife's getting her hair cut and I'm just like walking around and showing people what's down in downtown Valdez. Is that cool? Actually, where are you from? I live on Mineral Springs Mountain, Mineral but Springs uh, Mountain. yeah. People will. 
Roche and Company boutiques, folks. That's the kind of stuff you can find here. Are you Roche? No, I'm Kimberly. I'm Roche. My daughter's name is Hagen. Oh. Hagen Roche, and it's her oh, boutique. She's 18 well, cool. years old. She's 18 years old. She haven't seen your pictures made today. Or wow. She'll be here. Well, you've got a cool little shop. I gotta hey, say. You got a car? I sure do. This is like a dolls and designs by Scunchy. Oh, by Sandy. Got all the dolls and stuff though. They probably, I don't know if they're closed or open. I guess they're closed. Interesting, it's a Monday through Friday. I don't know how to read the door. I've never been in the levee, but it's a brewery and pub. It may be closed too at this point. Let's look and see. Like it's 11 o'clock. You'd think some place to be. I guess the levee though, I guess a bar wouldn't be open this time of day. I'm not sure what this place is, the Valdez Steachery. So this must be like a, uh, okay, let's check it out. See if we can go. So Valdez Steachery was locked. This place is open. All kinds of cl classic plastic toys and collectibles. Let's check all that out. And they have some, there is some classic stuff here. Look at that aircraft carrier. Holy cow, it must be, at least six, seven feet long, I'd say. Okay, so this place is pretty killer. Look at the, look at all the stuff, man. Sorry, oh, yeah. So I've got actually some, some buddies I know that are into collectibles and stuff. Looks like you can find them here for sure. Crazy. Here's like a two and a half foot three C three PO. Wow, very cool. The old uh, Presbyterian Church is over there, past the bank. I think it's a Wells Fargo bank. They got something called My Cute Kid Children's Boutique and Consignment, and I've never been in there. Either. It looks like it's children's clothes, though. I don't know how interested y'all would be in seeing that. Blessed Mama Plus Size Boutique. Uh, I gotta show this to my wife so she can see what she's thought about coming in. So this is a cool place my wife has never gone into but has wanted to. So tell me, what's your name? I'm Ashley Hass. I'm the owner and founder of Blessed Mama Plus Size Boutique in Valdez, North Carolina. Walk with me so I can show you how Absolutely. awesome your story is. I'm kind of, this, so tell me about how long you've been in business here. We, I started out of my bedroom three years ago in my home in uh, Granite Falls, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And we just started with my clothes out of my closet in a $10 rack. And yeah. God has led us to this storefront and found these. And we are so blessed. We actually You've been have, here a good little while now, We've right? been in this location for two years. And um, we have shipped to all 50 states except for seven. And so that oh. is our goal. So if you are, just in come check state. us out. Yes, we have Facebook. We have TikTok. Um, we also have some children's clothes as well. Um, we do a little bit of consignment. Blessed Mama. Yes. <laughs> so I love it. I mean, we, you, come to the, you do the curve with me. I'm, I'm, I'm letting people talk to you, see you while you talk, and then see the merchandise too. We also um, do consignment as well. We serve uh, extra large all the way up to 6X, and that's very, very hard to wow. find um, in a boutique world. Yeah. So definitely, um, this is really, really cool. I can't wait to check out your channel. Well, I, I mean, like I say, it's, it's a lot of hiking. It's a lot of guitar playing. It's a whole lot of just mess. But then now and again, I get out and I get to, you know, like I say, my, my wife's going to beat me here and tell me it's your hair done. <laughs> I'll have to leave. But I, I just... For one thing, it's very comfortable in here. Your shop is beautiful. Well, our our goal here, we are so much more than a boutique. We are um, we have fellowship on Monday nights. Oh, really? We do, um, and we have such a big seating area just because this is what happens on Saturdays. We have people just come in and hang out. And so you're Christian, you're Christian oh, absolutely. business too. Absolutely, God has this is that's um, that's our prayer tree right over there. Oh, um, check that out. I gotta get a big, get a picture of it. We are just such a community here over anything. It is just so much more than a business here. We are a community of ladies and Well man, that is just that is great. First Thessalonians five seventeen folks pray without ceasing. If you, if we could do that, we'd we'd make a big difference in the world, wouldn't we? We would. Well, God bless you. This Thank is just you. awesome. It's awesome to see your store. My wife's got, so now that she sees the video, 
last She'll time. drag her butt in here. Well, tell us you can also check us out on Facebook. Um, and we do a lot on Facebook. We do a live sale every Thursday night, really? and that's how we have just grown throughout the United States. So. Unreal. Well, thank you for letting me take a look in your store. Well, thank you so Fantastic. much. Okay, so she was super nice. I like her. Yeah, that's Waldenskin Presbyterian Church. Nick, you'll want to come check that store out, man. And this is 100 Main, which I don't know if I've ever shown y'all the inside of it. What a great little place to eat. It's a great place to get a sandwich and stuff. I like, uh, they have some vegan options and stuff in here. I'm not a vegan, but I like to eat their, um, their mushroom sandwich, a big old poor bill mushroom sandwich. That's a really good look again at the, uh, at the church. It's kind of a very historic church here. So let me make sure these folks don't mind me showing us a little bit of video inside. So this is the inside of 100 Main. I just thought I'd do a quick sweep through. I don't want to bother everybody, but uh, at lunchtime, this place will fill up. And they'll have a lot of really good sandwiches and stuff. Looks like they have a meeting space up top and everything. So here's just another good look at one of the local restaurants and what it's like on the inside. And it's like some of their specials and stuff. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So I've eaten here probably a dozen times. Good every time that I've eaten there. Nikki, I'm not going to get through with the entire town because I know Nikki's haircut's going to be finished soon. I'm not sure what this place is. Oh, it's a floral boutique. Okay. So we can see some of their work there. Really nice. Check it out. Beautiful. Thompson Realty, it's going to be closed. Oh, this is where I take Hendrix to get his uh, to get his uh, grooming done. So this is Hendrix's grooming place. Now, so it turns out they are closed. This is the Bark side, the Bark side it's called, and they do such a great job with Hendrix. We have a jeweler here. I don't imagine they probably want me in there shooting video, but Grace Jewelry. Kind of peek through the window. It won't bother those folks. We got Reynolds Family Wellness Center. So it's a chiropractor, massage, and stuff like that. We are getting close to the end of town. There's actually more, you have to go a little ways off to see it. This will get most of the town. This is a, one of my good buddies works here. Sam Murray, He's a, this is the Burke Hospice uh, thrift store. And it really is a nice one, the thrifts and gifts. A lot of people bring their stuff up. Nikki, and whenever we have something we want to donate, we bring it here. I don't think they'd mind if I show some video here. I'll see if Sam's around. This is my old longtime buddy, Sam Murray, who I've known for at least 20 years. 20 years now. And Sam manages, I think it's the coolest thrift store around. <laughs> Tell us about it a little bit, Sam. What's going on here? Well, this is uh, Thrifts and Gifts. Yeah. We're a thrift store in Valdez, North Carolina. Uh, we're a division of Amora, which is the combination of Caldwell Hospice and Burke Hospice, a brand new organization. Um, all our proceeds go to benefit the hospice patients and the programs that we serve, and in the same time, we provide good value for our community. Dude, it is awesome. Like I say, it is. It, it, you have been. You've taken this store. I remember it's just. It's just so much more full and active and thriving now since you took it over. How long? How long have you been here, the manager? At least six or seven years, right? Uh, going on six years. Six years. Well, Sam and I go way back. He's got a lot of skill, a lot of talent. He's an interesting, funny, and entertaining gentleman. <laughs> And I guess my wife's calling me or I would talk to Sam for 30 minutes, but this is his place. So if you can come to Valdez, be sure to stop by for and gifts, Burke Hospice. Dude, thanks for letting oh, me. Oh, thank you, Doug. Thanks for letting me shoot a little bit of video yes, in sir. there. So I'm backtracking, but you know, it's kind of cool to see a place from the other angle. <laughs> so I gotta run back and get Nikki. And some of the stuff you'll see on the way back, well, you can see some of the traffic for sure, what kind of cars and people are driving in. That's Mineral Springs Mountain over there in the distance where I live, behind, kind of off behind that. I like some of the murals, murals they have here. So you see, I think 1893 it says. Is that when the Waldensian people first started to settle this area? It may have been. It's not super old, old area. So let's get back. Let's get back over and get Nikki, but here again, I thought I'd just at least give you the walk through from this side. Very nice folks, very friendly people here in this area. A lot of people ask me all the time, you know, uh, where do you recommend living in North Carolina? 
I recommend this little place. I recommend it a lot. I live here for a reason. Uh, I didn't live here for a long time. I lived more out in Catawba County, a place called Conover for, gee, 18 years. But uh, that's High Peak Mountain over there. In the distance, again, Mineral Springs Mountain's back over there behind the tree now. The first time I visited Mineral Springs Mountain, I said, okay, that's the kind of place I would like to live. And I've always really enjoyed this little town of Valdez. Very much worth checking out if you're in the area and just want to go to sort of a Mayberry quaint little place. It's one of my favorites. There's my wife waiting for me. So I've got to end this by showing Nikki's haircut. <laughs> Turn around. Let's it's see. not fixed. All I did was just oh, get it cut. Oh, it looks beautiful. You look great. All right, girl. Oh. <laughs>